Sometimes when you're in Thunder's line of work, you get called to perform some kind of heroic act. I don't really know what that heroic act is this time. I, I know it has something to do with a tree and a cat, and somehow the cat got saved out of the tree, but now Thunder's stuck up there. I, I don't really know the details. Uh, Thunder tends to butt dial me a lot, and he did it earlier, and it wasn't really crying that I heard. It was more like whimpering. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but I'm sure he's fine. So I thought while he was away, I would try and entertain his subscribers. And I don't know if I can do that, but I'll definitely try. And last week, Thunder did a commentary about how he thinks uh, Black Ops 2 is a better game than Call of Duty Ghosts. And I know he got a lot of hate for that. And you know he's not the only one. There's some other commentators who have done that. And I know everybody calls it the Call of Duty cycle where we hate on the, the current game, but we, we love the previous game, and then as soon as the current game is the previous game, we'll love it, even though we just hated it, whatever. I'm more of a level-headed, <laughs> kind of straight and narrow uh, commentator, so I thought I would bring a different perspective to Thunder uh, saying that Black Ops 2 is a better game than Ghost, and I'm not necessarily saying that Ghost is a better game. I only have about a day into Ghost, tops, so probably a lot less than most commentators. But I will share some of my likes and dislikes and then kind of compare that to Black Ops 2 because I definitely had some massive issues with Black Ops 2. And I like to spark discussion on my channel, so I'll try and do that here too. If you guys uh, drop a comment and let me know why you think which game is better. And I know there's going to be some of you who say, well I quit the Call of Duty series, the Call of Duty series sucks. And that's cool. I know there's a lot of people out there. I know some people still hang around just to hear what Thunder has to say or or whatever the case may be. I have subscribers like that too who quit the Call of Duty series, but they still kind of come around, figure out, you know, what's what's going on. So if that's you, let me know what game it was that made you quit the Call of Duty series and why. But anyway, first of all, the gameplay. I know some people still like to hear about the gameplay. It's a K7 gameplay, SMG. It's a great weapon for this map. Unfortunately, I realized very quickly that they were camping, a lot of them all in the same spot. Usually, for those of you who don't know, Usually when I see a camper, uh, I have a Camper Meets RPG series on my channel, and when I see a camper, I'll switch to my shotgun RPG class, and I'll either blow them up with an RPG or blow their face off with a shotgun. I'll, like, make it my mission to blow up that camper or, or shoot them in the face. <laughs> so anyway, I ended up switching to my shotgun class. It's it's whatever. It's a gameplay. You, you've seen one, you've seen them all. But anyway, the biggest thing to me when I look at the Call of Duty series is I want function over features. And when I feel like a game is struggling on the function side, it doesn't matter what features it offers me, I'm not going to like it. And for me, that was that was the way with Black Ops 2. I love the pace of Black Ops 2. Other than the head glitch spots, I thought the maps were good size, and they had decent uh, alleyways for action, you know, hot spots. But because of the, I guess you could call it the broken camera angles, the hit detection, uh, some of the character issues, uh, Black Ops 2 really struggled with me, and it made me uh, start looking for other things wrong with it instead of just kind of fighting through it if there was a good connection. With Ghosts, I feel like even though there are some lag spike issues, I feel like the hit detection is amazing. The best hit detection we've had since Modern Warfare 2. And for me, that makes me ignore some of the little issues that it has. Now, the big issues I have with Ghosts are the maps are way too big, the kill streaks are kind of boring to use. And it just kind of really slows down the gameplay. Like, I non-stop rush, and sometimes I still find myself getting bored because I just, I can't find people. And I felt with Black Ops 2, you could always get into a gunfight. It's just the only bad side was the gunfights were heavily decided by connection. So right now, I, I would give the edge to Ghost just because I feel like the function is better in Ghost than it is in Black Ops 2. Now, I know Thunder doesn't like uh, the sniping. The sniping was just as bad in Black Ops 2. Uh, the sniping is it's just one of those things they're just never going to get right. I thought it was the closest to being the greatest in Call of Duty 4 and Black Ops 1. I didn't like Black Ops 1, but I thought the sniping was great. And for me, the biggest issue with Black Ops 2, like I said, is just a lack of function. And uh, some of the weapons were imbalanced. I think Black Ops 2 and Ghost are great games. I'm not really sure why they get hated on so much. But I feel like it's maybe it's just because of the few issues they have are so severe. But let me know what you guys think. Hopefully Thunder gets out of that tree eventually. And as always, thanks for watching. 
Later. <laughs>